Hey, it's G, aka Black Power Bunny, and it's been a hot, hot minute since we have done a personal vlog. A lot of what I've shared these past couple of years have been quick videos and things, stuff like while well, I've been out and about. And you know, truth be told, I am deliberate with living my life, um, so I intentionally don't post a lot. But um, recently, I thought, you know, I have to do some videos for the small business so i might as well sit down and do one for the personal as well so it's one a month can't be that hard to do one a month but it's been a while right like it has been a while so you know it's april it's 2021 and i'm thinking it's going to be five years on the 21st of april since prince passed away and i always get into this ultra purple mood in april where i start wearing like all my Prince uh, memorabilia and I don't have a lot. To, I am not the Prince fan who buys all things Prince because all things shouldn't be Prince, right? I am a person who is attracted to the genius of the musician. So the way he puts the instruments together, the verses and the lyrics he's created, the similes and metaphors and the play with words, like all of that. Is what I'm attracted to. Um, so I am not that person who does like makeup and stuff. And no, 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 no. Um, it's just, you know, when you have to let go of the genius, of obviously it's still impacting people, even though he's left the world, i.e. living forever. You just get a little, you know, you get into those moods. So I'm in a purple mood as always, but an ultra purple mood, uh, this being five years of his passing. So, you know, it's a very good chance I'll you know, be re-watching some of the YouTube videos when I had a chance to visit Paisley Park years ago uh, when all of this first happened. And I remember vividly, vividly, when Michael Jackson passed away, I was in New York City on the subway, just leaving an interview to do the census. And I had to get off the subway because my friend Mary called and said, you know, Michael Jackson was dead and I, just being on the subway with other people you know who knew of his music we just started sharing stories and memories and you know it was just that so I remember telling my boss I said you know when Prince passes away I am going to Paisley Park I am making the pilgrimage and surely enough when he did that June I went up to Paisley Park then I added my little memento to the gate and then in October, I had a chance to go back and actually go into Paisley Park and had a, a moment when they mentioned that his uh, ashes was, you know, like right there. Not gonna tell a, a lie, but that, um, that will move you when you're like, oh, oh, because I just thought it was like a little replica of Paisley Park. And I was like, it's, it's a urn. Okay, it's a urn. Um, so yeah, so we're going through that this month as well as we got our first uh covid shot yes first covid shot i'm very excited to get that uh that done and we'll be going like 28 days later to get our second dose uh this virus is real you know we have lost loved ones and friends to this virus so it's not like some hoax but you know normal life wasn't so great beforehand so I want to make sure I say that but to be protected and I'm still wearing my mask um, will allow me to get back to doing more of these photo sessions so I'm excited to sort of get out and just do a little bit more I'm not going crazy I will tell you that crowds believe it or not I'm actually a little uh, on the edge when it comes to crowds so I never thought I'd be that person but I am that person I'm, re I'm recognizing that too many people in one place without a mask moves me. Now I have my mask on and I've always carried sanitizer because I'm coming out of New York City. So that's always been there, but it just baffles me how people are like, yeah, sure, let's go out, let's do this. And I'm thinking there's a pandemic still. Like I don't, I'm not doing that. So it'll be interesting to see uh, once I get the second shot, how my reaction will be. I only had like a sore arm and I lost my lunch that first day, but other than that, things have been good. So we'll see. Um, rumor is those who are fairly healthy kind of get taken down for like 24 hours. So we shall see what that looks like. But I'm excited to sort of 
reinvigorate myself and put some time into, um, you know, sharing thoughts and things of that nature. I've got a couple of books I do want to talk about, so we'll probably do that in another post. Uh, but April is here. Let's get it started. It's time for spring. And um, sometimes it does snow in April. 